Gnostics are early Christians who solved the problem of evil, solved the problem of pain and suffering, but do it in a way that's different from Paul, that's different from Orthodox Christianity, that relies on the story of Genesis. You see how much work, how hard, how important the story of Genesis is for Christian theology? The earth is good, God created it, humans corrupted it with their sin. That's central to Orthodox Christian theology. The Gnostics will reject much of that. Gnosticism comes from gnosis. Gnosis means knowledge. But in the Greek, that's not knowledge in the sense of information. Right? You can't get gnosis from Wikipedia. Right? You can get information, but nobody thinks you're going to get gnosis from Wikipedia. Gnosis is a deep, religious, mystical knowledge. Deep knowledge of the secret and true nature of things. The Gnostics will emphasize that Jesus offered salvation by offering true gnosis, offering true understanding. And true understanding leads to salvation. Gnosis, let me say this, gnosis is a word that's widely used in the second century. In fact, perfectly orthodox Christians talk about the importance of gnosis. First Timothy, the book of First Timothy, it's in the Bible, warns against false gnosis, meaning that there's a true gnosis, there's a true knowledge. Good Orthodox Christians, like Clement of Alexandria, say that the ideal Christian is a Gnostic. He's one who has true, deep understanding of what Jesus Christ taught. So there are, there are Orthodox Christians who use the word gnosis. To some extent, to refer to the movement of Gnosticism or Gnostic theology as a heresy is to some extent a modern creation, a modern category. There's enormous debate over whether in the second century there are kind of like two buildings. One that says we're the ones that accept Genesis, we're the Gnostics. In some places like Rome there actually probably were some teachers who identified as Gnostics who were of this variety that I'll talk about. Gnosticism is one theological movement in early Christianity that develops in contrast to orthodoxy, right thinking, right doctrine, correct doctrine. Gnosticism is a controversy. It is the second great controversy of Christianity. The first great controversy is the Gentile problem. How are Gentiles saved? It is through these theological controversies that Christian orthodoxy develops. The orthodox Christians say that the Gnostics are heretics. Heretics. They say that Gnosticism is a heresy. That's a Greek word. It means choice. It comes to mean sect. It comes to mean non-orthodox. The orthodox Christians say we are right and the Gnostics are heretics. They teach a false kind of knowledge. The Gnostics don't say we're heretics. They say we are Christians. They say we teach the truth. Gnosticism is an early Christian theology that it does two things, right? I told you, what are the two things Gnosticism does? It rejects the Genesis mythology, right? That doesn't mean true or false, it just means the set of philosophical stories. It rejects Genesis, and it does so to? In the language of Plato. 